All right, everyone, here's your workout for your Friday, 21, uh, just a minute on the clock, typical Friday kind of warm up. Um, I'll show you that new one again, the lying leg hug with spinal twist. The workout, let's get to that. All right, it looks like a lot of stuff going on here. It's uh, gonna be busy looking bored, but uh, simply stated, you're gonna do all the number ones, and then you're gonna hop onto your machine. 30 seconds, and then you're gonna get on, uh, do all the number twos, and hop on that machine again. Your goal is to try to always match your calories in that 30 second time frame, right? So all the threes, and all the fours, or the fives, add in the sixth line, and then we well, just do five lines, but why not do a sixth line? That's Friday, and uh, that's it. So it does a, a slam ball exercise, to a hurdle or a BOSU exercise, to a core exercise on the mat. You can always use a BOSU for just about every single one of these uh, core exercises. All right, let's see what it all looks like. And again, your warm up, 30 seconds on the clock. Uh, jump rope, uh, we have them out. You can do jumping jacks if you don't want your jump rope. You lunge with your reach, right? I'm gonna show you your squat to the stand only because you should be doing it right now. If it's Thursday evening, Friday morning, you're watching this, you need a good stretch, right? You squat, you stretch the hamstrings as you get back down to that squat. A little reach works on shoulder mobility, right? Both hands up in the air as you stand up, right? Then you get your inchworm, skaters, side lunges up. You're lying leg hug, right? So you're lying down, and you hug your knee, right? Get a good squeeze, and then you're gonna put your elbow over your knee, and that's when you get your spinal twist. Over. All right, I gotta do both sides now, or else I'm gonna be lopsided, right? Pull that knee into your chest, then put the elbow over the knee and get that spinal twist, all right? Good exercise. You do this exercise right now as well. Before going to bed, helps loosen up the lower back. All right, then we do our high knees, heel kicks, one leg reach, jack in the box. That's your warm up. All right, so again, told you about the workout, you're gonna do all the number ones, right? So we're going across the top of the board, you're gonna do your swing with your overhead lunge, your hurdle, the gallop shuffle step, and the cycling twist. Get on that machine, 30 seconds. No machine at home, got a jumping, uh, jump rope, you can do that, you can do jumping jacks, you can save your cardio and go out for a run or a jog or a bike after the fact. All right, so let me show you all the slam ball exercises, make sure everyone's on board. Some old ones, some new ones. All right, so we're doing our swing. Hold that weight up above, add that lunge. Swing, lunge, okay? Only 10 of those, no big deal. Your V chop, right? Starts with the belly button. You go over one shoulder, back down. That's one, that's two, that's three. That's your V chop. Squat with your push, remember this one? Squat in the low squat. Push that weight out, bring it back in, and then stand, okay? And again, your squats, you wanna to try to get your hips to your knee level. All right, push back in. All right, now, I haven't done this one in a long time. Half moon with the side slam. So you're doing your half moon, right? Up and over, and then use that momentum to slam that ball on the side. Up and over, side slam. So you kind of can turn a little bit, as you do that one, that's your half moon. Side slam, your side lunges with the ball. All right, you know those. And then you walk up and you press. Now those are your slam ball exercises. All right, got a couple new hurdle exercises for you. All right, now this first one is gonna be a lot of fun for me and the other trainers to watch you guys try and do. All right, uh, yes, I sometimes make up exercises just to see you guys flopping around and having fun with that. So, gallop, shuffle step is what I'm calling it. Okay, first you start with four gallops. One, two, three, four. Easy enough, all right? Then, the shuffle step, all right? So you're gonna go one, two, three, four. All right, then you're gonna go back to gallop. One, two, three, four. And that shuffle step, one, two, three, four. All right, one, two, Three, four, back, 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 back. All right, so that should be fun. Every move causes one. So if you just want to say, all right, I'm not gonna do the shovel step, just stick to gallops, and that'd be 20 gallops. Otherwise, you do four gallops, four of the shuffle steps, then it goes eight, four more gallops, 
four more shuttle step of the 16, and you finish with the gallops. Okay, so again, just trying to swing things up a little bit, get that mind going, and uh, get you guys out of any kind of similar routine. Post a straight jump to the foot, straight jump, toe touch for those, 20 of those, hurdle crossover, all right, boom. Boom, the BOSU switch. Now I'm trying to do the BOSU on the box. Now we're going to do it on the ball. That's a fun one. Get some height on that one. All right, here's another one. Hurdle lateral switch. Okay, first of all, modification is going to be cross jacks for anyone, or just using no hurdle is fine. But I guess I was a little lucid last night. Came up with this one, and let's see how we do. All right, well, you start, straddle the hurdle, right? Now you're gonna jump and cross, all right? And then back, and then cross, and then back. Again, no hurdle, all right? Just cross. So it's similar to cross jacks, where we're crossing our feet and then alternating which foot is in front, all right? Not comfortable doing that over the hurdle, that's fine, do it on the ground, and then we finish with our jack in the box, all right? All right, then your core exercises. Cycling twist. You can do these easily on the BOSU, right? It's like twist, 20 of those. Plank jacks, right? We're gonna go out and back for one, two, three. You can go up on your ball, you can go on the BOSU, you can plank it on the BOSU, right? All options for you. Side plank toe touch, again, you can be on the ball or on the ground. Boom, seated rows on the ball or on the ground. I like the ball, I get the extra range of motion. Can get your shoulders below the hips, really work on your core. Reverse plank, heel to toe. All right, these are only 10. This is a tough one, holding this reverse plank. All right, hips are up, heel to toe. What does that mean? Heel to your other toe, heel to toe. You're not jamming your toe, just a little tap, just a way to keep yourself in that reverse plank. All right, so just 10 of those, five aside, and then flutter kicks, 50 of those. Again, I haven't tried this before on the ball, but I think it's doable, all right, we're here, and then your 50 flutter kicks. All right, that's it, again, after every core exercise is when you get on your machine, bust out those 30 seconds, and try to match those calories every single time. Uh, that's it, really, should be a fun fast Friday. Again, I think we'll get in three rounds, right? Maybe more, but definitely not less. All right, we'll see you guys for fast Friday.